campgrounds. 500 feet on the right. You smell now. I just gotta figure out, figure out how to turn around here. building down there on the left. up there. What's that? Straight ahead, right there. Right there between the trees, see him? Yeah. Two of them, look, right, turn the right. I didn't even see him, or her, I mean. Oh. <laughs> no. Well, you said them. I thought you saw both of them. No, I didn't even notice the one on the right, just the one on the left. Afraid, are they? Mm -mm. That's Do what? I said, put the back row open. Well, they're coming to us. There's your deer, honey. Now you owe me 25 bucks. I do not owe you 25 bucks. I said I wanted my 15 back. Now I was for you to scare the deer. Huh? I said I was for you to scare the deer. I'll just put my phone away. <laughs> I was afraid that fan kicking on would scare him, or scare her, but...
I wonder what startled that other one. Let me know. Let me know if you hear anything coming up behind us. I said to make sure you. Oh yeah, I see it back there. Yeah. Which there's plenty of room to flag people, so. Then we start waving our arms and. <laughs> Just munching away. I <laughs> tell you, that's how they put those signs up. It says it's illegal to feed the animals. I see his ears or something back there. I keep uh, saying he, but. Oh, it's hurting my neck crank on my head. How far? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it just doesn't even care. Oh. Yeah, I see it back there. It's got his head stuck up. It's just forget you. I don't want nothing to do with you. somewhere we're gonna stay there and watch them a while but she was breaking my neck trying to look at him and I was afraid somebody's gonna come up behind us yeah as we got closer and closer I kept waiting for him to bolt or waiting for them to bolt and Figures you'd say that. The hundred and three miles or the uh, four hundred and ninety six miles. Should have enough gas to get out of here. I've got at least 60 more miles, and it's only supposed to be 50 miles out of here. I'm surprised. 
because those other people didn't seem like they were interested in the deer. Especially one that lets you get so close to it. That's why I didn't see the one on the right because I was so focused on that one trying to make sure I watched where he went to so you'd be able to see him or her. There's people camping up here. They must not have gated. And they must only charge during business hours or something to get into the park. I was thinking that maybe they, uh, you know, had gated it up or something after a certain... Well, yeah, they probably do, or else they'd be worried people would be coming in for free. I'd like to see a buck, but, you know, not that like that that wasn't skittish. Big old buck with big antlers standing there like that. They're typically way more skittish than the females to begin with. Well, he's the protector. <laughs> That's not what most of them do. Some speeding again. around home where it's you know more populated we may kill off a lot of their natural predators too that may be why there's so many you know snakes and stuff like that that wouldn't normally have them for lunch we kill off but up here they're probably prevalent next place down here is called Big Meadow. I don't know if there's, you know, an actual Big Meadow there, if that's just what it's called. Well, I mean, the next little campsite, it's at mile marker 50. Oh, at uh, Big Meadow? That's where the gas is supposed to be at. Not only do 
we have a deer crossing, we have people crossing. That's one thing I didn't expect to see up here, honey. Should be coming up on Big Meadow any minute. We're about exactly halfway through. <laughs> uh, just think how pretty that deer was, honey. before you got within arm's reach. I don't know. Big metal area. 600 feet on the left. And there's another one of them radar things. That may not matter. This is that meadow. This is one of the meadows where that guy was filming and showing all them deer. That meadow right there. He was walking out in that meadow. Might as well fill up. That way we don't way we don't have to worry about rushing off the uh, trying to find a ooh. what oh ooh. Well, considering we probably only need about a gallon. <laughs> Huh, that sounded interesting, honey. Hmm, not when you're paying for it. <laughs> 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 oh, Lordy. Darling, darling, that's why I love you. Da -da -da. They got some nice pumps here, too. They're, like, they're brand new. Probably. And they don't even have no weather protection over them. That middle over there is pretty though. Oh well. Just think of how pretty that deer was, honey. <laughs> I'll pay it for a gallon for gas, but it's too everywhere else. <sighs> Uh, 
Yeah, it's pretty. Oh. That's breeze coming through there too. We should have 50 miles and we'll be out of here. <laughs> I'm sorry, baby. Sorry, well, you're not feeling good. Dear. Two more. Those are pretty. That one looked a little bright. Hang on. Hang on. Okay. Oh. Oh, shit. Yeah, they've already gotten a little skittish on us. Right over here, look. All kinds of them. Four, five. I know, that's what I just said. Bunches and bunches of them. Yeah, they're already darting away from us. That one had a real pretty brindled coat. <laughs> Looks like a leaf, I can't quite tell. Three, four, five, six, seven, about eight of them there. Usually with a herd that big, there's a buck with them. I don't know what I just heard beep. Yeah, it's a fern over there waving in the wind, I think. There they go running. There goes that one. There they all go, down the mountain. Now we didn't bother you, you didn't have to run. There goes another one. Probably. That's why I flagged them, because I figured if those two crossed, the others would come right behind it. Uh, that's what we've been on a hopping trail, but 
He better pull up just a little bit. He's in that curve. He's trying to protect them, but now he's kind of angled so they can't see his flashers. I don't see the other ones now. They seem to know where each other's at, though, so you can... Yeah. We've got several trips planned, but... Yeah. 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 Yeah
of course, don't cross the road and make no <laughs> they don't care traffic. They, they do it on purpose, they don't. <laughs> so, he was having a great time. He was like, not, he wasn't bothering, he was just having fun chasing him like a dog would chase a car. This is one of the biggest trips we made. We were born from Kentucky, from Lexington, Kentucky, and we went down to Syracuse, North Carolina, going on Blue Ridge, and we were all 496 miles of that, and now we're doing this hundred miles of Carolina Drive, and then on to D.C. and over to the West Coast. They're coming out big time, moving around. So, <laughs> but you guys have a nice journey. <laughs> <laughs> I think so. We'll have to see, but I think so. <laughs> it's so hard to tell what I do and don't get. But usually if I get a good look at it, then I do. And I got a pretty good look at it, so... It'd be nice for those assholes you... I mean, speed limit's only 25 through here anyway. And you try to warn them that there's wildlife in the road, and they just keep right on a going like you know, nobody's business. <laughs> See, we never would have saw all those over here if I hadn't wanted to stop. That's true. God, look at the nails. I better get them on the GoPro. Clear. Now, if we could see a bear, that would just stop it all off. If we could see a bear like we've seen these deer up close. And <clears throat> they may be staying at one of the campsites up here and driving in and out. I mean, just imagine how many we've seen so far, and if you were driving, if you were camping up here, driving in and out of the last several days. <laughs> well, I wouldn't want to get as close to a bear as I did to those deers right there, but I wouldn't mind seeing one. I don't think the black bears are all that aggressive. Now grizzlies are aggressive. Now black bears, are, now brown bears, I think are uh, fairly aggressive too. But black, they can be, but they're not as prone to it as you know some of the other ones. A little baby bear, or <laughs> I wonder what that was over there. I didn't really even notice.
the lion. That was that lion. Ooh, I bet that would have been pretty. Let's make us a little bit more visible. It's starting to get a little dim out. Splitter and all. Oof, that's bright. Bright, bright, bright. I don't even have my little shades down. I may have slid. I may have to reposition it again. have what? I'm sure they passed through the metal. They made us not stand there out in the open. I don't know. They're, they don't act the same up here as they do. You know, because they're not afraid.
46th. trucks, no traffic, no garbage. It's nice and cool and shady and quiet and peaceful. I know this has been a long trip, baby, but I couldn't think of a better way to, you know, cross over to the coast than to do it like this right here. Yesterday was probably our hardest day, but I don't know. Nope. But I'm not aching either. I do that then then I can take another one but I just didn't want to take a chance of, take a chance of feeling off balance you know on this mountain if we run straight away highway I wouldn't have minded too much but that is because like that one deer we spotted in that overlook where nobody had been in there in a while he was just sitting there enjoying himself no well you you can kind of zoom it in when you're editing it but I've not had all that great of results with it. Because even like those deer, as close as they were, you know, it makes this, the fisheye lens makes everything look farther away. So even, you know, those deer there will look like they were twice as far away as they were, even though we were right on top of them. And like the ones that were out in the woods, I'm not even sure if you'll be able to see them or not. It's great for scenery, but it's not really good for picking up particulars because it makes everything look so far away. Now the ones that were right there on the side of the road, we should see them just fine. <laughs> not you, huh? You don't want no part of a camera, do you? <laughs>
haven't asked for your jacket yet. Well, too, we're, you know, going a slower speed. That probably is why. If we were going the 50 that we were going the other day, you'd probably be wanting it. White Oak Falls Trail ahead. Baby bears are awful cute. 